hello soulmate welcome back to my channel my name is nelo and you're watching nelo stitches today tutorial we'll be learning how to cut and sew a bustier without cutting out the yoke separately so as you can see the yoke is together with the dress okay i did not separate the yoke from the dress if this is what you're interested in please keep watching like and share my video so i was drafting this on the fabric before and it wasn't too clear i decided to use paper but if you're using fabric what you need to do is your bust divide by four plus extra seven inches so that is how much fabric you will need on fold though on fold okay that's how much fabric you need for this your front panel and for the back you just add your bust divide by four plus extra your zipper allowance and then your sewing allowance so here i'm doing minus six and i tick on 11 inches which is my bust point and 15 inches is my under bust and then 18 inches my half length and i'm going to tick on 23 i added five inches extra to my half bodies because it's going to have a basque so i'm doing the same thing on this other side so as to get a straight line i tick on 11 so as you can see my tape is on minus six on the shoulder line i place my tape on six on the shoulder line because i'm doing an off shoulder okay so I'll count like 5, which is here, 23. And then I'm going to mark the same thing on this side just to get a straight line. So like I said, I added extra 5 inches to my half bodies because I want to make a basque, to have a basque effect, okay? So here is my underboss. I'm underlining it. And then this is my waistline and here is the extended waistline so i call this extended waistline so i'll just write it as e x e waist okay e waist extended waistline and here is the actual waistline and this is my under bust and here is my bust line okay that's my bust line and then next i'm going to be marking out my um nipple to nipple measurements okay so because i'm using paper my nipple to nipple is seven seven divided by two is 3.5 it's 3.5 but if you are cutting on fabric you add half inch that means if it's seven divided by two is 3.5 if I, you add half inch that will be um that will be four okay so here i'm going to mark 4.5 i added one inch on the shoulder line i'm going to mark 4.5 i added one inch to my normal 3.5 okay 3.5 plus one is um 4.5 so this is my preference you can decide to use the same 3.5 there but i like it a bit wider at the top okay so now to get our bust here what you need to do is your bust your under bust minus your bust circumference. So my bust circumference is 38, while the under bust is 32. 32 minus 38, I will have 6. So I'm going to mark 2 inches here and then 1 inch here. 1 inch here, 1 inch up to the end. Okay? So that is what I'm marking now. And I'm going to connect with the straight line. So whatever you get, your under bust minus your your bust minus your under bust whatever you get if it's eight you divide the eight by two because this paper is assumed to be on fold you divide the paper by i said paper you divide the what you get the eight by two mark one inch here and then mark the remaining ones at the side okay mark one inch here and then you mark three inches at this side it will be fine it shows you have a bigger bust okay so here on the bust line i went up by half inch and then i came down by half inch so on this other side i'm marking 0 0.75 on both sides okay here at the shoulder line i use 0 0.75 and i connected it like this so next i'm going to curve my bust area i'll be using a curve ruler to do this guys place this ruler upward okay not the one i'm placing it i did not place it right okay Place it upward, upward. Not downward like so. Place it upward, okay? So here I'm going to connect this. 
this other side also okay this other side you're gonna place it upward just like this okay so i realized myself i came back to correct my mistake okay so that is how you are going to place it not the way i placed it earlier you're gonna place it like this okay this will give you your actual curve so here i'm going to do the same Okay, so I'm done connecting this. Next, I'll be taking my measurements. Okay, so next, I'll be taking my measurement. So guys, next is to take our measurement. If you like, you can add your sewing allowance to this pattern. If you like, you can add your sewing allowance when you're cutting out on your fabric, okay? So what I'm going to do now is my bust divide by four, okay? Bust divide by four, you mark here, and then if you want, you can just add your allowance like this, three inches or 3.5, okay? But I will not be doing that. So here, I'm going to be marking my under bust divide by four, okay? My under bust divide by four, So here is my underboss divided by four, and then I'll be placing the dart I used here. So whatever that you use, four inches, 3.5, three inches, you replace it. And you do the same thing to the waistline. You mark, you can also add your sewing allowance, but I will not be doing that. So here on the waistline, I'm marking my waist divided by four, and then I'll replace the dart I'm going to be cutting out also, okay? And then you can add your sewing allowance if you want. So here I'll be doing the same thing at the extended waistline. I'll be marking my waistline there. Divide by 4 plus the dart I'll be cutting out also. So now I'm going to connect all this together. Remember I said I'm not, I did not add sewing allowance to the paper. I'm just showing you guys in case if you want to add. So here... For your armhole, from your bust line, you can go up by 2 inches or you divide your bust by 6 plus 1.5, okay? So for my shoulder, I'll be dividing my shoulder by 2 plus, I mean, minus 1.5. So my shoulder divided by 2 is 7. 7.5 minus 1.5 is 6. So sorry, guys, my hand is covering. I don't even know, realize it. So what I did was to mark my seven inches and then i replace the 1.5 inch that i used so here i'm going to mark my armhole 8.5 so that is my actual armhole or you can go up by two inches from your bust line so this is the measurement i use i used 7.5 for my shoulder as you can see Okay, this is 7.5 and this is because my actual shoulder is divided by 2 is 7.5 minus 1 um, one and a half inches. That will make it 6. But the dart I used at the shoulder is 1.5. So when you add it back, is my actual shoulder, which is 7.5. So that is why it's like that, okay? So that is how I marked my shoulder. And then I marked the same thing on the chest line so that I can cover my armhole. Get a straight line. So here I, I measured what I have at the bust line and I'm going to mark it here at the chest, I mean armhole line, which is the chest line also. And then I'm going to curve, connect this upward and then I'll use my curve ruler to curve my armhole. I hope my explanation is clear enough. If it is not, you can still ask me on the comment below, okay? So this is just, you are drafting an off shoulder bust here, just it, okay? You are just cutting an off shoulder bust here and now i'll be cutting this out so i'm going to join this all together before i just take note of what you marked here so this is five inches take note of what you mark from your waistline down to the extended waistline like i said i added extra five inch because after joining on my fabric that is what i'm going to be cutting out okay so here i'm just cutting this out
So we are done cutting. This is what we have. And for the back bodies, it's just a normal basic body, which I traced here. I traced my actual basic body. And the neck width I'm using is 4 inches. I'll be 3.5. And here I slant my shoulder, my waistline by 0 0.75. This is my dart. I use 1 inch for my dart, 1.5 inch for my dart. And this is my waist measurement plus the dart intake. I mean, just exactly your basic body's back. That is what I traced out here. If you don't know how to draft this, I'm going to leave the link on the description box below. So here, I'm adding my zipper allowance following that shape. Okay. I'm adding my zipper allowance following the shape of the back. So I tighten my back, the waistline, by 0.75. Okay, so just trace out your exact basic body's back and then that's it. So if you like, you add a yoke to the back. If you don't like, you leave it like this. You just cut it out like this. But I'll be adding a yoke. So the yoke I'll be using, I'll be using the same 6 inches. Remember for the back, we did 6 inches. So for I'll be using 6 inches and then at the center back, you can go deeper if you want. So I'm going to use my pencil first until I like what I get before I finally use my marker pen for you guys to see. So you can use the same 6 inches like this and then you leave it like so. Or you can bring down <coughs> excuse me, the center back lower. You can make the center back lower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the center back. But for the armhole, it's still going to be at the 6 inches. Okay, so I'll lower the center back. I'll use my chest line for the center back. So I'm just going to draw it from that chest line up to the 6 inches at the armhole side. So that it will correspond with the front panel also. Okay, so from here, I'll connect to the 6 inches at the armhole side. So it can correspond with the front front armhole okay so this is what i mean so i'm going to use my curve you can use your curve you can make it straight you can make it curvy anyhow you want it to be it's all up to you just make sure that the armhole of the front and the armhole of the back is the same thing okay so that is what i do here is six inches okay so that when you cut your front own it's going to correspond with the back panel so you can also add a keyhole to your back or you just cut it like so so i want to add a keyhole so from the neckline i'm going to come down by two inches two inches and then i'll curve it like this to create that keyhole effect so this is it okay so this is what i i want to go for so there will not be zipper allowance here anymore at the upper part of the yoke. So this is where the zipper is going to end at the chest line here. Okay. So I'll just extend this outward like this. That's where the zipper is going to end. So now I'll cut this out. So I'll just take my dart upward also. So I'm cutting out the yoke now and after that you're going to label this as your yoke okay so I'll cut out the zipper allowance also and then you label this as the yoke for the back okay so this is what you have after sewing so now let's cut on the fabric so here I've cut this out on the fabric and I added three inches to the side and I added half inch to the inside here half half inch here all through and to the center 
front also i added half inch okay and this one is for um two pieces including the lining that's four pieces this one is the center front i added half inch inside and this is called unfold okay and this is the back panel i added half half inch on the inside and then upward where the yoke is going to see that i also add half inch and downside also i added half inch and at the side i added the same three inches so in allowance i'm going to use for the front and i cut my lining exactly the same thing and i also iron hair stay to them okay i also iron hair stay to them so for my skirt i have a skirt pattern already so i cut out my skirt with that so if you don't know how to cut a basic skirt i have a tutorial on that i'm going to link it below so this is my basic skirt i've cut out the skirt side of this dress also with the lining okay so now we are going to go over and cut the yoke for the front so for the front yoke you need your basic body also you need your front basic body also for the front yoke so here is my front basic body like i said before if you don't know how to draft this i'm going to link it on the description box below so that you learn so here i'm going to open up my dart and then so i can be able to close up my bust that okay so please guys i don't want to go over drafting this because the video is going to be too long i have a separate tutorial on how to cut a basic body or you can just cut if you know how to cut the basic at least that is the first thing you're supposed to learn as a fashion designer okay you're supposed to know how to draft your basic bodies so that is the first thing you're supposed to learn so that is what i'm using here i'm using my basic body pattern the front one and the neck depth is four inches and the neck width is the same as the back 3.5 okay 3.5 inches for the neck width, 4 inches for the neck depth for the front. While the back, I used 1 inch for the neck depth, okay? So that is what I use here. And now I folded my net fabric into two and I placed this on top. So this, I'll be extending my waist. Remember, I said I added 5 inches to my bustier. So that is what I'm doing here. I'm adding the same 5 inches this way here. Okay. I'm adding the same five inches here. So I'm going to connect this following the shape of this pattern. That is how I added the five inches down. So I'm going to connect this together and I'll cut it out. So you also add your seam allowance to the side. You can add the same thing you added to the front um, bodies, okay? If it's 33 inches, you add the same 3 inches here. If it's um, 2 inches, you add the same thing here. So the same sewing allowance I added to the African print fabric is the same thing I'm adding to the net. So I'm going to cut this out now. So you add sewing allowance to your neckline and also to the shoulder line. Okay, so here is what we are going to be using. So I'll be sewing in my darts. So I'll just draw this down so that I can notch where I will sew. Okay, so this is my dart. I'm going to notch where I'm going to sew. So I'll notch here and also this other point also here. Okay. So after sewing it, I'll just I'm just going to cut out the excess for the that here like this. Okay. So this is the one I'm going to be sewing. So I'm going to take the pin off and I'll also cut the back yoke and I'll show you guys. So I'll be sewing this together like this. 
remember this uh, fabric is on fold the net i cut on fold okay is on fold so i'm going to sew my dart from the down up to where it stops where did that end okay i'll do the same thing to this other side right side facing each other you sew on the wrong side of the net okay and then the next we are going to be cutting the back yoke so this is what we have for the front yoke as you can see i did not separate the yoke okay so for the back yoke you just use your pattern and cut add seam allowance half inch round everywhere okay as you can see i added half inch seam allowance everywhere okay so the next video i'm going to be uploading is going to be how to put this together thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys if you have any question leave it on the comment below and i'll see you in my next tutorial bye